we're just going to be avoiding Pazak this whole this whole playthrough. No, thank you. Stealing stuff, very Jedi like. Nothing more Jedi like than busting into people's rooms and stealing their stuff. Why are you bothering me? I'm here to speak with the council, not some servant. Hey. Please leave, or I shall be forced to tell the council of your rude behavior. What a jerk. And those are all fake doors. Okay, well, there's no real point in being out here right now. I only vaguely remember some of this stuff, so, you know, I remember going to places I don't necessarily remember why I went there ever, so it might, might be a minute. Oh, let me out, protocol droid. Stupid droid. Do I have a Jedi uniform yet? I do not have any, any Jedi stuff yet. Well, I'll probably give this to him. Let me see. Yeah, we'll give that to him. And I guess we'll just stick with that stuff for now. I should probably put this on. And I guess I'll just stick with what I got for now. I want to take this off just because it looks really stupid. I don't care about the bonus, it just looks too stupid. Alright, you're just random settlers with no names, so you don't matter. Nemo! It is good sometimes to stop and reflect on the beauty of nature and the Force. I am sorry. I tend to get carried away. I do not believe we have met, Apprentice. My name is Nemo. Is there something I can help you with? I have been given a task by the council. Indeed. What is it you would like from me? What do you know of the Tainted Grove? The council has told you nothing of the Grove? No, they then have not. it would not be my place to explain its significance. But as the light side can be embodied in living beings, so can the dark. The Grove can be found to the south and east in the plains, but be wary of Cathounds. They may be agitated by the power in the grove. Is there something else I can help you with? That's all right. I hope your time is well spent here on Dantooine. I like the flying, uh, mantis things. Greetings, friend. I think I can safely assume that sounds like Ethan Phillips. Jedi Order. Has the Council agreed to hear our petition? Uh, I am merely a Jedi. Uh, an apprentice, not a Jedi. I'm sorry, I was mistaken. Does the council require our presence? Yes, they're waiting for you now. I'm sorry, I do not know. Oh, I see. I am mistaken. How may I be of assistance? Why? Uh, who are you? My name is Gar. Me and my fine wife Rilke here. A pleasure. Live on one of the northern farms, but. The cat hounds and the Mandalorian problem has been getting really bad of late, and we're here to ask the Jedi Council to help. You mentioned cat hounds. Well, recently, the cat hounds have been acting much more aggressively. They've even attacked some of the settlers. Those Mandalorian raiders have been milking the outlying farms dry, too. I hear John got hit really bad. Too bad about his daughter. I'm not sure exactly what the council will do about it, but we need some help with this. I only hope they'll listen to me. Is there anything else you require? Uh, Mandalorians here? Ever since the Republic beat them years ago, little groups have been roaming all over the place. With the Sith invasion, the Republic doesn't have the manpower to hunt them down. The Jedi are even worse off because Malak has been hunting them specifically. They're worried that he might even be supporting these raiders. So, I don't want to face them directly. That puts us in a kind of hard situation. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, nope. Farewell, then. May the Force be with you. Is that how it goes? Yeah. May the Force be with you. I'm pretty sure that's Neelix from Star Trek Voyager. Ethan Phillips sounded a lot like it. Oh, it's Are John. Jedi? How long can you people continue to sit by and claim you protect us, protectors? Ha! You sit in your enclave safe from the Mandalorians while we suffer. 
What are you talking about? Those Mandalorian brutes have killed my daughter. They came to our land demanding our livelihood. But Ilsa, my Ilsa, said no. They killed her? There was nothing I could do. Too many of the Mandalorians and their Duro's allies. I've come here to ask you, please, Master Jedi, stop these raiders and get revenge for my daughter. I will protect you and your fellow settlers. I will give you all I have. Just please annihilate them from the face of this planet. Alright, well, we'll look into that too. A bunch of random settlers over here. Keep on heading over this way real quick. What happened to you? Man, they'll, they'll do that. They'll bomb your world. You might give something back? Oh, whatever. You have a name. I thought you'd be useful in some fashion, but I was mistaken. And there's definitely nothing really back here. There's a door that doesn't even actually go inside. Yeah, I, I don't know why, but I really liked Dantooine quite a bit. It's kind of kind of nifty to just chill on this place because you hear about it in the original Star Wars movie, and here we are. Oh God, this thing is gonna be loud. Greetings, young Jedi. I wonder if you could assist me. I seem to have lost my companion. You see. This is a creepy little side thing. Your companion. We were working on my farm to the north of here. I was working in the garden outside, and he was working inside. I heard the door to the house open, but not close. I went to see and found it wide open. I searched everywhere and could not find him. I worry so much. I need him back so badly. I wonder if he... could he have been kidnapped? It's possible. Maybe it was the Mandalorians. Or maybe Cathounds. Are not intelligent enough to open doors. Although they have been more vicious lately. No, it must have been someone who could open the door by himself. Now think of it. The door was locked. Uh, could someone have bypassed the lock? Could it have been opened from the inside? Well, yes, it could have. But he had no reason to run away. His programming. A droid? Well, yes. He is a droid. But he's very valuable to me all the same. He's the last piece of my poor passed away husband that I have left. He is Creepy. very dear to me, my precious is. Little too dear. What I do without him. He's the only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. You live alone with this droid? He is a personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As How the last so? Of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? <laughs> Please, I beg of you, return my droid to me. I will help you find your droid. Thank you. Thank you, Master Jedi. If you find him, please... Send him home to me. I need him so much. Ew. Well, it's nice being a Jedi. We certainly get a little bit more respect around here. So you're just selling stuff. Da 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 da. Purposes. Well, if he has any med packs, I'll buy those. Or a mission. Low, low prices, yay. Let's see what he's selling, or... Yeah, let's just see what he's selling. Uh, that's probably not bad. Some Fett's armor. How much is this? 15,000. Well, I don't have anywhere near that. Um... None of this looks particularly useful to me. Let's sell some stuff if I have any 
garbage lying around here. I got these. Not that that really is gonna bring in any money or anything. Get rid of both of those. We don't need no regular blaster pistols. And... I don't know, that'll be about it. It's a cat hound and he's watching us. These guys kind of suck, actually. There's a lot of them. I remember parts of this get a little bit difficult, actually. Yeah. At least I have my uh, healing abilities now, so. It's just in better shape. Just gonna use that pretty much willy nilly. Really, it, my force mana stuff regenerates pretty quickly, so there's really no reason to not do it. <laughs> 